Mal everybody, Cantonese Cat here. I'm capable of making a quick video. I don't have to be long with it. I'll show you. This is Tesla. What is Tesla doing right now? Well, look at this. Everybody thought that the trend line has been broken. It looks like it were, we were maybe breaking above the trend line here last week. This bear market trend line that lasts all the way from like 2021, right? It looks like we were, but then the bears this week are saying, nope, no, you're not. Slam. You know, it all went, went all the way back underneath the trend line over here. But Overall, the trend is still up. Overall, the trend is still up here on the weekly, and there's a lot of really impulsive price action. The wells have entered. So overall, I still think that you might end up having a little bit more consolidation down. You might go down underneath a little bit here, trying to build up some energy. I'm gonna show you what, what other kind of support there is, right? But look at the wells they're in for the last couple of weeks. Look at the similarities to over here, right? You have a trend line over here, and you end up trying to Break above of it wasn't able to have a little bit of a shallow pullback, but the whales never left, right? And the same thing just end up pushing a lot, a lot higher. So, what are some of the support levels that we're looking at here um, to kind of consider where we, you know, if you if you really want to enter like you know Tesla, where would we enter? Depends on where Tesla support. If you test the support over here, the cloud would be around two thirty six point four four. That'd be a pretty decent entry level here for for, for Tesla because you're basically having a Breakout of this resistance flip as support, and the other thing to consider would be like the Subichi cloud. The top of the Subichi cloud is a little bit lower, around two thirty, and the Subichi cloud top is also confluent with this rising tension over here. So I think it's going to serve as pretty decent support around the two thirty six, two thirty zone over here. May have a little bit of shallow pullback that goes down that far, and then may try to break out again. Is kind of what I'm looking at. I think things simply just went way too far, way too fast. Another thing you also see a very, very much of a confluent zone over here too, would be if I take off the Subichi cloud, you can also see that the upper Bollinger Band, which is not surprising why this week I had a hard time breaking above because you just can't be way outside the upper Bollinger Band without having some kind of punishment, right? The sooner a punishment comes, the better. Right now the upper Bollinger Band, where is it at? 230.85. I think the 230 to 36 is going to be a very you know decent support zone to be able to push price up a lot higher through this funk but it might take another like couple weeks another few weeks or so before we push back above and um, i'm not that worried even right now like post market price is around 236 right which is again not the subichi cloud but around like where the ichimoku cloud is right right here on the top of the subichi that of the ichimoku cloud so um maybe a little bit more pullback before bullish continuation i like the fact that the wells never really left here on the mcdx and also like the fact that, you know, if you look at the EMA ribbon um, that the turtle trader had, again, you have the buy signal uh, last week and uh, the ribbon's pointing up. I mean, like, I don't think it's going to go all the way back down here to like 200. If it does, that'd be great. I'll buy more, but I, I doubt it. Probably to me, the, my best is probably a little bit of a shallow pullback before going up higher. I know that it's still not really quite a higher high because this is just a wick. We'd like to see how the week close. We would like to have the week close here for this candle, which currently um, is um, at around you know 241. We would like to see that candle maybe perhaps closing above the top of this candle over here, which is going to be around um, 254.49. That would be a very, very nice thing for it to do. So we'll see what happens. Currently, we're, we're obviously we're way away from that. Why did things get rejected here, you ask? Well, it basically got rejected because it was hitting the top of the monthly Ichimoku cloud and just got rejected. This is not anything that is surprising, but you still have plenty of support underneath. Shall we go down to 215, 213, 200? It still have plenty of support underneath that it can use as support. But I think it's possible if I just go down to like, you know, 230, 236, and that would be it. That's possible. NVIDIA, real quick, speed run. You know, remember I told you this is a monthly chart NVIDIA. I thought that things are a little bit too far extended away from the Tangent. You're either going to end up getting punched through price or through time, right? Either down or sideways, waiting for the Tangent to catch up. Uh, right now, we're just kind of stuck. I think it might end up stuck around here around like one, between like 130s to like one tens. I think that might be kind of where we're going to range for the next, uh, Maybe a month or two or three is my best guess. You know, uh, Bull in Japan is a little bit too far extended. So it wouldn't be surprised to me at all if we end up closing the month maybe back inside or even go sideways here a little bit. 
and that wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing, right? And that's uh, the whales are still in here on the monthly. Look at a weekly. You can basically see that um, it really is just going sideways. It hasn't done anything for about five weeks. And there's nothing really like bearish about it. I think things just simply want to get a little bit closer to the weekly tanking. And uh, if you look at the Supiichi, there's a possibility where we're just basically testing the Tenkin and Kishin here on Supiichi. And the lowest it might get maybe around like the one teens before further bullish continuation. Whales are still in. Really nothing to get concerned about right now is closing back inside the upper bull in Japan here on the weekly. So we're not really that overextended here on the weekly anymore. But the monthly, you know, maybe a little bit still overextended. You do have a little bit of a treaser look over here, which is not the greatest look, a little bit toppy kind of look, but I think it's very, very similar to maybe like over here, you know. I, I, I don't know. Um, it just looks like things just need to cool down here a little bit and that would be healthy. And that might be just in time for things to rotate from large cap to small cap. And then most likely you're going to end up having like an everything rally that happened afterwards. Um, so those are my quick thoughts on, on Tesla and Nvidia. That's it. Bye.